American Pitbull Terrier vs. Cane Corso, Breed Differences and Similarities Consider adding an American Pitbull Terrier or a Cane Corso to your household. Many households would enjoy having these two lovely pets. Before bringing either breed into your house, learn what to anticipate from each. Two extremely well-liked breeds are the American Pitbull Terrier, APBT, and the Cane Corso, Italian Mastiff. The Cane Corso and American Pitbull Terrier are highly distinct from one another, but they also have a lot in common. It's not unusual to see a mix of the Pitbull and Corso. The Cane Corso, on the other hand, has a reputation for being quite distrustful of strangers and loud about it, but the APBT is much more social with people. He also needs a stricter master who will set the rules. He is not suitable for inexperienced dog owners. The Cane Corso is an Italian Mastiff, however because of the tasks they were bred for, they differ from most Mastiff breeds. They are both stunning canines that would make devoted family members, all they need is the appropriate home. Let's examine the similarities and differences more closely to determine which breed will work best for you and your family. Breed Background both breeds are members of the Molossa dog family, but before we can infer anything about how they will behave as a family pet, it's critical to comprehend the history of each dog. If properly raised and socialized from an early age, both of these breeds can make wonderful family companions. You can probably find one without going to a breeder because both breeds have somewhat distorted pasts that make them popular rescue slash shelter pets. Before examining how these pups differ from one another, let's first examine them and compare their ancestry. Corso Cane Italian Mastiffs, or Cane Corsos, have a long and illustrious history. The Italian Mastiff, or Cane Corso, which is phonetically pronounced Cana Corso, is descended from the huge Roman military dogs. First employed as a farm dog, he went on to work in a variety of capacities, including sheep herding, cattle droving, cart pulling, and estate guarding. The Neapolitan Mastiff, which was utilized in the restoration program, had a significant influence on the breed that we know and love today. The Cane Corso breed was on the verge of extinction, but thanks to breed enthusiasts, his numbers were quickly restored. In 1988, the first litter of Cane Corsos arrived in this country. Since then, he has established himself as a beloved family pet and friend. According to the American Kennel Club, AKC, he was the 32nd most popular dog in the U.S. in 2019. His popularity has progressively climbed from 60th rank in 2012 despite the AKC only officially recognizing him as a breed in 2010. The Borbol and Presa de Canario are two other Mastiff breeds that are frequently confused with the Cane Corso. American Pitbull Terrier The history of the American Pitbull Terrier doesn't always offer a positive picture. Although many people think he is the original Pitbull, the American Pitbull Terrier, APBT, is one of four breeds that fit under the general title Pitbull. The APBT was created from the biggest and most powerful fighting dogs, who later became known as the APBT. He is a direct descendant of dogs raised in England for bull baiting and rat pitting. His history of fighting gave rise to the myth that he is a vicious dog, but unless he has been taught to be vicious, he is not. He is regarded by some as a sharp farm dog and a kind family friend. Some continue to view him as a vicious dog that has no business living with the family. Pitbulls are becoming once again the American family favorite thanks to education and breed enthusiasts like Rufus and Kilo and their family farm of rescued Pitbulls. Moreover, APBTs are frequently misclassified, which has contributed to their murky past. Many puppies labeled as APBTs are actually APBT mixtures or even other breeds that people mistake the APBT for because of how similar they look, such as the Staffordshire Terrier or American Bully. Appearance You'll notice that although the Pitbull and Cane Corso are different in size, their appearances might be identical. The Cane Corso and the APBT have similar appearances, with the Cane Corso appearing to be the larger of the two. 
The APBT is shorter at 17 to 21 inches, while the Cane Corso is taller at 23 to 27 inches. In comparison to the APBT, which weighs between 30 and 65 pounds, the Cane Corso weighs significantly more, between 85 and 110 pounds. Although they both appear to have muscles, the APBT is significantly leaner and his muscles appear much more clearly defined. The Cane Corso frequently has a larger, heavier body with additional folds of skin. Both of their short, shiny coats are soft to the touch, but the Cane Corso's is more denser and rougher than the APBT's sleek coat. They both have the brindle jean, and they both have the same color coats. The APBT is quite well liked whether wearing a red or a blue coat. Because to their muscular build and stocky look, which includes a large muzzle and face, they frequently fall under the purview of breed-specific legislation, BSL. Several things are required by the various BSL enforcing states, and some, public muzzling or enhanced insurance are mandated, and in others, some breeds are outright prohibited. For this reason, be sure to research your local laws before you think about allowing one of these people inside your home. Temperament Both breeds must be socialized from a young age in order to counteract some of their innate characteristics. You can anticipate a lot of fun and games with both the APBT and the Cane Corso because both breeds are funny and lively with their immediate family. They both adore and fiercely guard their human siblings, and you can frequently find them on the couch snuggled up to the lesser members of the pack. Due to their size, they should both be closely watched around kids and other animals to prevent an unintentional collision. They both tend to have separation anxiety due to their sociability, so it's crucial to provide them with brain games or emotionally satisfying puzzle games to keep their minds engaged while you're gone. Both of them are extremely obedient canines who want nothing more than to please their owner. They are both trainable as a result. Friends can feel at ease when they call on your door because the APBT is quite friendly with almost everyone, whether they are friends or strangers. The Cane Corso, on the other hand, is a considerably more dominating dog, thus he requires a master who is willing to take on the challenge of being much more dominant than he is. The Cane Corso may become quite an aggressive and obnoxious dog if not kept with a family that understands and abides by the laws of pack mentality. He makes an excellent family pet if you can strike the right balance. The Cane Corso is extremely leery of strangers and won't let anyone approach his family unless specifically told to. He is constantly watchful and never completely lowers his guard. When instructed, he will be welcoming and accommodating of strangers. Consequently, among these two breeds, the Cane Corso is your sole choice if you're looking for a guard dog. It is crucial to socialize both of these dogs from a young age due to the Cane Corso's protective nature and the APBT's potential fear of violence toward other dogs. This guarantees that they feel at ease around all other creatures, particularly other dogs and other people. This greatly enhances the likelihood that your dog will develop into a well-mannered, sensible, and non-overly protective household pet. Exercise Expect your pit bull or cane corso to burn off energy for an hour each day. Both the cane corso and the APBT need to exercise for about an hour each day, but due to their strength and intellect, the training must be intense, a leisurely stroll will not suffice. They can both use agility classes, interactive fetch sessions, swimming in the neighborhood lake, or other activities to burn off some energy during the week. Do not underestimate your APBT or Cane Corso's need for exercise because they can become very destructive when bored or restless. Having said that, they both enjoy taking naps at night while unwinding and watching a movie. Just be prepared for the Cane Corso to doze off with one eye open. The APBT, however, is more likely to be discovered sleeping soundly on his back with his four paws pointed upward. Training Despite the fact that both dogs are quite trainable, novice dog owners should avoid getting a cane course. As indicated before, the Cane Corso and the APBT are both easily trained with regular training because they are both so eager to please their owner. The key for both of these dogs is positive reinforcement training, so make sure to give them toys or belly rubs when they exhibit the desired behavior. Of course, the occasional tiny treat will also work wonderfully. 
Make sure that everyone in the family is on board with the training regimen and that the command words are straightforward, understandable, and reliable. Including kids in training is crucial, especially for Kane Corsos, since it helps them see kids as carers who are in a better position than them in the pack. Do of the Kane Corso's tendency to question the pack hierarchy if he feels that his master is not authoritative enough, many Kane Corso owners advise against getting one as a first dog. To increase your chances of having a very obedient puppy who won't feel the urge to challenge you, it would be excellent to enroll your cane corso in obedience training as soon as you can. It's crucial to understand that the cane corso's training will take a lifetime commitment since he needs to know who is in charge. As APBTs typically do not present their masters with any difficulties, families who are new to dog training would benefit from him much more. Health both breeds have few health risks to be concerned about. Compared to most other purebred dogs, the Cane Corso and APBT are both extremely healthy canines with fewer health issues. The Cane Corso lives between 9 and 12 years, while the APBT lives between 12 and 16 years. The APBT is known to experience skin allergies, the most frequent of which are grass allergies, followed by nutritional intolerances. However, these symptoms may be managed with medicine and premium kibble. He occasionally has cerebellar abiotrophy, a condition that impairs mobility and is brought on by harm to a portion of his brain. They both have hip dysplasia, and the cane corso also has elbow dysplasia, which is characterized by an improperly formed joint that causes discomfort and makes walking difficult. Moreover, a cane corso must undergo testing for cardiac conditions, including dilated cardiomyopathy. Nutrition Both of these active breeds are suggested to eat high-protein kibble. The cane corso consumes about three cups of food per day, whereas the APBT consumes about two and a half cups. Of course, this varies from person to person depending on size and degree of energy, but the majority of kibble packaging will make a recommendation for how much you feed him based on his weight. Be careful to speak to your veterinarian for individualized nutritional advice if you believe that this is not quite the proper diet for your cane corso or APBT. They should both consume a premium kibble made especially for larger breeds, and because they are both muscular and active dogs, it is crucial that their kibble has a minimum protein concentration of 25%. If you notice that your pit bull is experiencing skin pain, as many APBTs do, you may need to offer him a grain-free dog food. Nevertheless, as always, see your veterinarian first. To prevent them from getting too pig-like if left to their own devices, make sure their nutrition is age-appropriate and don't let them free graze. Grooming Although pit bulls often have more delicate skin, both breeds require very little upkeep. The grooming requirements of the APBT and the Cane Corso are both rather straightforward to take care of. They both need to be brushed once a week to keep their coats looking sleek and glossy and to encourage blood flow to their skin. Unless, of course, they get really dirty while playing or exercising, they simply need a bath every two months or so. The APBT, sometimes known as the Velvet Hippo, has a penchant for rolling around in mud puddles and may require more frequent bathing as a result. It is crucial to get sensitive skin dog cleaning solutions because the APBT is renowned for skin allergies and sensitive skin. This is especially true if you have to wash him more frequently than you'd like because it will assist to prevent irritation and harm to his natural skin oils. Price Pit bulls are typically the more cheap of the two kinds since they are simpler to locate in shelters. The Cane Corso is more expensive than the APBT, primarily due to the Cane Corso's higher rarity, but also because the Cane Corso is larger and costs more to grow. An APBT puppy will cost between $800 and $1,000, and a Cane Corso puppy from a good breeder will cost between $1,500 and $1,800. Working with a reputable breeder can help you to ensure that your puppies are born from healthy parents and have the greatest possible start in life. Here, it's necessary to take rescue into account as well. Because to their prior owner's ignorance of their demanding personality and exercise requirements, both the Cane Corso and the APBT ended up in rescue homes. 
You may never learn his parents' names or where or how he was reared, but you can be sure that rescue organizations will only rehome healthy, well-behaved dogs. In addition to saving a dog's life, you will also save a significant sum of money because rescue costs typically vary from $100 to $300. Visit the websites for the Pitbull Rescue Center and Cane Corso Rescue to get started or contact your neighborhood rescue organization. Final Reflections Both the Cane Corso and the APBT are affectionate, caring, and devoted family dogs Many people who haven't met or don't know anything about them simply don't get them. Hoping you now have the knowledge you need to decide which breed would be best for you and your family, but know that you will receive one of the most devoted and caring dogs out there with either breed. Before continuing with the video, we would like to tell you about our sponsor BullGift.com. On the site, there are special digital drawings, charcoal drawings, and a special oil painting structure, as well as mugs and magnets that you can stick to your cabinet. You can take advantage of the discounts by using the discount code that appears on the screen. Site address and discount code are also in the description. Now let's go back to our video. 